James is helping him out with his homework. I'd probably have given him some advice of, you know, stop being such an old douchebag. <laughs>
So after you finish that, you could always take him on a little short walk, you know? Especially since Connor is now um, a teenager. He oh my gosh, he just ignored everything I said. And instead went outside to go and play basketball. Connor! Why are you so cheeky already? You're such a cheeky one. Oh, this little one's doing it instead. She's filling them. Unless I actually told her to do it in the first place. I'm not sure. But Connor, can you take your dog on a walk, please? Why are you just stood there? I told you to take Bruno for a short walk. Oh, guys, he's completely ignoring me. I mean, he's sitting down to do his homework, which is good. But still, he is ignoring me hard, you guys. Okay, there we go. He's finally taking him on a short walk. And I was kind of thinking, especially now that Christmas decorations are down, I think Windenburg 1 is the most, in my head, it's the most expensive place you can live in the whole of The Sims. Like, it's just got, like, expensive vibes to it. It seems like, you know, where the big houses are, the classy places are. It definitely seems to me like the kind of place where, you know, football, oh. ex-football <laughs> player, now football coach James would definitely move and, like, buy his house in. You know, owns a restaurant, pro, sh pro amazing chef Selma, where they would buy a house together in the most elite place in the whole of The Sims. And you can kind of imagine Connor. His dad was a famous football player. His mum owns the hottest restaurant in town. You can definitely imagine Connor, like that playing on his mind a little bit in terms of, you know, I can do what I want. Like, look at my family, look where I live, look how rich we are, look at who I am. And it kind of making him a little bit of a cheeky teenager, even though he's got some of the best role models ever. He's at a time in his life when teenagers can kind of go off the track a little bit and can very easily have a few reckless years of their life. And I think that's the direction that Connor is going. He's had a very privileged little life for himself. And I, in my head, that's what we're gonna do with Connor. He's gonna be a little bit of a, a cheeky bot bot. Look at these cues having a little dance. And actually one thing that I said I was gonna do is Oh my gosh, look at Connor's room. That's the first thing I need to do. I don't think his room would be like this, you guys. I'm gonna update his room. I'll keep some of the stuff, um, but I will start to update his room to a little bit more of an adult's room now. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to delete the whole thing. <laughs> and I think since it's such a big room, he would definitely be wanting a bigger bed for himself. I'm gonna get him this little bed because it kind of matches, doesn't it? The blue up and down. Uh, the blue like triangles have kind of been a bit of a theme for his life. I... I'm gonna leave some bits for now, but ugh, there's a lot of this stuff I just don't think he'd want anymore, you guys. I just honestly don't think he would. He's growing up on us, you guys. He's turning up in into a grown-up little googie egg. I don't think he'd want a tent in his room, or a Pokemon box, or a kid's violin, or a mudkip. So we'll get rid of a few bits for now. I'm keeping just a few little things just for him for a little bit longer. Maybe he'll get rid of them a little bit more long-term. And I think he'd want to update his room into a little bit more of a gym room because I get the vibe that Connor would be quite into his weights and stuff and I think it would be kind of a nice way for him and uh, his dad to bond a little bit as well I think he would definitely be into having like a little punching bag in his room I'm gonna get him the really red one I have free weights in this but you can't actually use them which kind of sucks but I'm still gonna get him some like he's just got them in his room hopefully he can still use that punch bag and then I'm gonna get him this weights machine too I just feel like he would definitely be into that kind of stuff it's gonna be our little worky outy sort of sim. I'm gonna put this in there too, just because it kind of adds to the realism, but he won't be able to use it, unfortunately. Or these. But they're, they're good because it just looks like... It just adds to it, doesn't it? It just adds to it. Put a little football there too. Gonna get rid of that very childish looking bookcase. Give him this cute little one instead. There we go. His room's dead. Like, I think over time, more stuff will go out. But for now, it's a good little update. I might just change his wallpaper a little bit. Because I would say it's quite, like, cutesy wallpaper. And he isn't cutesy anymore, you guys. He's all grown up and manly. But obviously, Bruno is still always going to have a little place in his room. And his dad scored him, like, a cool basketball top from one of his friends. Because, you know, they're both in the industry and whatnot. He's got loads of famous footballer friends. And, oh my gosh, that literally looks like James, doesn't it? I'm going to get that up there as well. How funny is that? And I've had this room not really know what to do with it all the time. And have just realised 
that it perfectly fits a sauna in it. So I'm kind of thinking we could have this as a sauna room. Oh my gosh, look how perfectly it fits. <laughs> I'm gonna make it a little bit trendier inside though. Okay, are you ready, guys ready to see the sauna? I've put a lot of time and effort into the sauna and I think you guys are gonna like it. So, welcome. Oh, oh yes, you can see it. <gasps> okay, so it's got a completely clear uh, ceiling. I was gonna say kitchen. And then you come down to this beautiful area here with all the plants. This is obviously where you're gonna put all your little steamy and what on. You've got your like little rocks and stuff there. You can look out into the garden and into the trees outside. <gasps> so pretty, but let's go back inside. You've got this little like uh, curtainy thing hanging down from the ceiling there. These cute little lights and these like little beams here. And flip flops. I don't really know why, but look at this. Imagine, let's just let's just plunk our butts down for a second into this sauna. How nice is this sauna, you guys? Literally, I didn't know what to do with this room. And this has made me so happy because this is perfect. This is actually perfect. Connor's still out on what was supposed to be a short walk. I don't even know where he is. That looks like, oh, it is the bar. I was gonna say it looks like a shop or a bar or something, but it actually is a bar, but nobody's inside, which is kind of weird. I mean, how close is that bar to our house? I feel like you could literally walk to the bar. Or is Connor just really far? Oh no, we've got, they have a pub at the end of this street. How did I never notice that, you guys? How did I never notice that? And I don't know what this weirdo's doing. Oh, he's serenading her. But instead of serenading her, why don't you replace that instead? And why don't you all get to bed? Because it's 2 a.m. It's not the time for serenading, okay? It's the time for doing sleepies. Connor, you've had an awful long walk with the dog. You need to come home and go to sleep as well. Claim your new bed in your new grown-up bedroom. So it's a beautiful Sunday. Salma is at work. Little Connor Rooney took uh, little Bruno out for a nice little, little walk again, being a good kid. He's feeling pretty energized from his nest. Little walkie with Bruno. Why don't you scratch Bruno's favorite spot, okay? Give him a nice little hug. And since dad is also about to go to work, dad cooked nice spinach frittata as well. So I think you should go grab some of that. But since dad is going to head to work very soon as well, I'm kind of thinking maybe you should have a little bit of a party today. You know what? Dad is actually doing something he's not done for ages, which is play the violin. Oh my gosh, it's been ages since we've seen little Jimbo play violin. Okay, I think it's time for a little bit of a house party, don't you think? So let's invite around some of the teens. I don't really know why Sophia is still a teen, but... She can come to you if she wants. The thing is, he's not had a day of high school yet, so he doesn't really know like loads of uh, loads of teens yet. He needs to let them have their first day at high school. He did have loads of like, where's all his little friendos gone? Where's like Christian and everyone? Can he not really invite them around now that he he's a teenager and they're not? Gonna invite around Lilith as well, cause she's a teenager and she's pretty cool. And then since That's he's like become a teenager, Ava. He's sort of like, I can't find his little friendos anymore, like little Christian and stuff. No idea where he is, but at least he's got those guys coming around. I'm gonna add them all to a group and then I'm gonna quickly go to cast full edit mode because for little Connor, we obviously had a little plan for him and that was to get, oh, we had the music. It's my favorite. Um, we had a plan for him, which was to give him one of the new teen traits that I've downloaded. And for him, I wanted to maybe switch out Dog Lover because we already know he loves dogs. Like, he's always going to love dogs. I don't think he needs it as a trait. I want to give him one of these teen ones while he's still a teenager. And the one I wanted to give him was Relentless Teas. These teens can't seem to stop flirting. Then when you add these two together and the fact that his goal in life is to become a serial romantic, Connor's gonna be kind of dangerous, you guys. I'm also debating switching his eyes back to those just because I think I prefer those eyes on Connor. I think the blues and greens for this one aren't great. They kind of annoy me a little bit. But then when it comes to like the red kind of colors, like Salma's always had reddish kind of eyes, like they look great. But then James has always had those kind of eyes. So I'm happy for him to keep those eyes. I love James's nose. Like, there's something about James's nose that I just really like. Oh my gosh, I li literally came back to the house and he's just sat there doing his little press-ups. Why don't all your friends go for a little swim together? Bruno's just like, can somebody take this harness off me? For God's sake, it's huge! So everybody is around. I've actually noticed that Abel is in a kind of a bad mood. But don't forget, Abel... Oh, look at little Lilith in a little bikini. Um, Abel's got PTSD. Like, from what happened with um, Elsa. Oh my God, I forgot her name there. So he is definitely going to be like a little bit of a tricky one to control and handle. 
And we kind of imagine them both being both being like the lads, both going out and getting girlies together. I don't think with Abel that's going to be possible because I just think he's going to be in a bit of a bad headspace. So Connor's kind of going to have to look after his friend a little bit. He's going to go over and try and calm him down and give him a little splash and whatnot. Though he is feeling flirty, you guys. Oh my gosh, and he's got the so much zest thing from being a frenzied rebel or an emotional conduit sim. So much in life that I'm going to tease them to oblivion. So he wants to actually tease him because of his, uh, his poor little mood. Instead, let's try and make him feel a little bit better, okay? And I think he's actually going to go ahead and talk up little Sophia for him. Maybe thinking that Sophia in a little, a little pink bikini might put him in a better mood. Sophia was actually a teen when Max was a teen. So this doesn't really make a whole amount of sense. I don't think his mood, his mood might be improving. I'm not sure if being splashed is the right way to go, Connor. He still seems to me like he's in a pretty bad mood. Oh my god, I love Abel. I literally love Abel so much. He's my kind of sim, you guys. Although Connor's looking very cool in his little sunglasses as well. Oh my gosh, Abel said she doesn't sound that interesting. He's not interested, you guys. He's also gone ahead and called Erica over. But he's flirty and he's gone to sit next to her. I'm kind of wondering if he will just flirt with Sims on his own or whether I have to make him. Although he does need his toilet break. Oh my god, Abel's mad. Abel is so mad. He's just stomping around the house in the worst mood. Eric is here now as well. I'm gonna go ahead and add her to the group. Oh my gosh. Abel's like such so angry at the moment. He's literally enraged. That even though Connor's trying really hard to like help him out with his mood. It's actually damaging their friendship together. But look who's coming to the pool to hang out with him. It is cute little Erica, who we all know Connor definitely has a lot of time for. I think Abel's had enough and he's getting out of the pool. But maybe Connor can spend a little bit of time hanging out with Erica instead. Now these three are hanging out. I feel so sorry for like poor little... Look at Bruno, by the way. I feel sorry for Abel because like... He's just struggling with life. I think he's actually heading home. Yeah, he's had enough. He's gonna be, oh, so is she. He's gonna be like hard to deal with because if he feels like he's in a bad mood, he's gonna start lashing out at everyone around him and that's exactly what he's done with Connor today. So as a result, he's kind of damaged his relationship with Connor. But I kind of feel like Connor is not the kind of sim that gets easily upset by things. Plus, I don't think Connor minds too much because it means he gets to spend a little bit more time hanging out with favorite, favorite girl, though, Erica. I was going to say main bay, but I kind of hate the whole main bay side bay thing. I think it's pretty stupid. And Erica is super, super cute. But maybe, like, maybe not right for the the current situation where Connor's out where he just wants to flirt with everyone. She's too sweet and wonderful, but she is a mini Salma. It's weird how much she looks like Salma. Oh my gosh, look. When you go to his romance things with her, he can try for a baby and try for a baby in a bush. Like, Connor, no, you're not doing that. I refuse. He's actually have to go do his homework. So, you know, He's been a good little sim. Although look at look at where Connor does his homework. Connor's idea of homework is just like, oh, let's just casually read through this book in my sunglasses in the pool at night. Cause you know, that's my life. That's just the way my life is. Oh, look at this one jumping up on him. How cute is that? I love Bruno. I still need to get Bruno a little girlfriend. I am thinking that we get Erica, a why is James sleeping there? <laughs> I am kind of thinking we get Erica a dog and then get them to do some some little doggy woo woo together. Okay, he's got his first day of high school tomorrow, so is Abel. So I'm gonna get them to just go ahead and get some little sleep. And then I think he needs some time to just hug out with Abel and make sure everything's okay in his life because Abel seems like he's struggling a little bit. The Connor started off his morning with a little bit of, little bit of punching. You can't be chasing girls if you don't look after the bod. Salma and James are still having a little Little bit of a sleep for themselves. Oh no, Salma's up, Salma's up. Let me see if she's got work today. She actually does have work today. James, however, doesn't. And this one is gonna be heading off to school in a couple of hours. He's just doing a little bit of a workout before he heads into school. So maybe James can invite someone to hang out with a little bit today. Oh, and Connor, you need to replace the doggy's food. In fact, he can't get to it there. Let's put it there. Oh, <gasps> why is he very embarrassed from self-awareness? What am I doing? I mean, I just wanted to flirt with everybody. Yes, yes I am, but so what? So what, it's embarrassing. I think I need a time out. He's not even flirting with anyone, he's just punching a punch bag. That makes no sense. Okay, so he's filled up little Bruno's pet bowl, and then he did just want to get a shower before school, but Salma's kind of in there right now. Come on, you're gonna have to hurry up if you want to get your shower before school, kiddo. You can't go to school smelling like that. No, don't go to school smelling like that, quick. Get yourself a quick bath and then head to school. 
Okay, and while he's at school, we're gonna get him to make some friends. And then you know what? Since I don't need to be at the restaurant anymore to open it, I'm just gonna go ahead and open it. <gasps> oh my gosh! A teacher had to break up a fight between Connor and another student in the hall today. I hope it wasn't Abel. Abel, what should we do? One increases our conflict resolution. In fact, two do, and one increases our manners. Uh, I'm gonna go for no one got hurt. It's fine. It sounds really bad, but conflict resolution is hard to raise. Uh, but manners is super easy raise. Easy to raise. So it seems like the easiest way to do it. Although Connor with his fights and his super flirty targets everywhere. So many people to flirt with so little time. Decked out from wearing everyday or party clothing. Prepped up and ready to rock everybody's socks off with coy smiles and cutesy hand waving gestures. And he's feeling great, which also boosts his flirty. He's just a flirting machine at the moment. And our little gardener has showed up to look after our rather sad little garden. The poor Salma just doesn't really have that much time for. And we've got some little guests at the house. Little Jess Aroni has come around to hang out with James. I think we'll add her to a group. And also little Dia has come around. So let's go. I don't know why Ryder's out of school. Let's go ahead and uh, invite them around. And then... <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This MC command is literally like, I'm desperate to know who she's having, who is she pregnant with? Is, does she even have a spouse? Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Can I ask the baby's due date? I think is the first one we go ahead. And then I can ask her if she's single without it being romance. I'm gonna ask her if she's still single and see if she's single, but she's having a baby. Oh my gosh, dear! I love this. I love that the townies are actually off gallivanting, doing stuff. Okay, so we're gonna ask the due date of the baby because we're kind of like, what on earth? Why, why are you so pregnant? Where did that come from? <gasps> they don't tell us when the due date is though. Dia is single. Whose is the baby then, dear? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We can ask to feel the baby. Oh, I wish there was an option. To ask who's the father? Why is that not an option? Oh my gosh, dear, what are you even doing? I'm gonna add her to the group as well. I oh, know she's in my group, she's in my group. And then I'm wondering if we can go and try out this uh, this new sauna together. <gasps> Must be indoors. Oh my gosh, because of my cool roof, they can't actually use a sauna. God damn it! I'm gonna have to do it as a proper roof, you guys. That makes me so sad. Oh, it was a cool idea, but the Sims has thwarted me, you guys. Okay, let's see if they can go in the sauna. Yay, they can relax together now in the sauna. Little Salma's off to work. I feel like Dia is gonna be needing a sauna. I can't believe she's pregnant. I can't tell which stage that is as well. I don't think she's super, super pregnant. Maybe like second trimester. Oh my gosh, I'm itching to know who the father is. I'm actually itching. At least when it's not James, because it's just good friends. I get scared of what my sims are up to when I'm not there. So this is a bit of a strange bunch of people, but still. Maybe she can't do it because she's pregnant. She's kind of just stood there in all of her clothes. She's like, yeah, I can't be in here. But it's a good way for these guys to get to hang out. The two, the oldest sister and the oldest brother <laughs> hang out in the sauna together. Their hairs stay dark. But there's the, the steam owner goes over their skin, apparently. James has learned that Dia is unemployed. She's unemployed, she's single, and she's pregnant, and we have no idea whose it is. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've seen a pregnant townie in this game, ever. So I'm quite excited about this. I'm making sure James has been super nice to her, though, because, you know, it's a bit of a stressful situation for her. Shall I go in, shall I become Dia for a second so we can find out whose it is? I'm gonna do it, you guys. I have to know. I just have to know whose it is. We'll be able to see which trimester she's in as well. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> it won't let me change to her, you guys. What on earth? I wonder if I can find anything at MC Command Center. Okay. Dear spouse, none. Pregnant with one female partner, Graham Edge. She's in the third trimester. Who is Graham Edge? I'm itching to know who he is. I don't know if we know him. Does James know Graham? Oh my gosh, look at all these people that have died. Diego's died, Nobuya has died. But who is Graham? Who is Graham Edge, you guys? This is so juicy. Never have towny drama. 
The thing is, I can use MC to just like get that sim to go there so I can see who he is. Should I summon him? Graham Edge. Who is this cheeky sim? Graham Edge not found? Did, did I spell his name wrong? Okay, it's spelled a different way. It's spelled like, um, Graham. <laughs> Graham Edge. Oh my gosh, Graham Edge will be right over. Oh my gosh, this is who Dia has been fooling around with. <gasps> oh my gosh. Graham, come and join the party. Come and join the party. Oh my gosh, this is who Dia's baby is with. <gasps> Graham Edge, I have literally no idea who he is, but I'm so intrigued as to how that has happened. I basically think that now Sims, since MCC Command Center, they're just mental. They're wooing and trying for babies with everybody. Like, it's gotten a little bit insane. Connor has come home, obviously in a bit of a flirty mood. He's had an annoying school day, but oh, Jesse's heading off back home as well. But I was kind of thinking, I don't know why he's just freaking out about the sink. Stop freaking out about the sink, okay? I want to go and hang out with Abel, okay? So we're going to go get Abel. I want to make sure that those guys have a nice relationship together. And I really feel like Abel needs a friend. Like, I feel a little bit... Oh, Salma's got her autographs again. I feel a little bit worried about Abel. And I feel like Connor needs to be there for him. So I'd say the two of them just go to the coffee shop together. Okay, so here is little Abel. Oh my gosh, no, he's all mad again. Oh, then the door closed on his poor little face as well. Oh, poor Abel. I'm kind of worried that because Connor's in a flirty mood and they're not technically cousins. That, I mean, they are cousins, but they're not cousins in the game yet because Emma and Mark's not married. So I just have to be careful with how much flirting he's doing. They're actually just going to go and grab some coffee for now. Oh my gosh, look, the nanny is there in the background with her purple eyebrows. So these guys are just hanging out, having a coffee together. Connor has been good friend and good cousin by just making sure that Abel's okay because Abel's kind of struggling a lot. I feel for him. And he's so pretty and cute. That makes me feel for him even more. However, I kind of thought this might be a good place for teenagers to hang out. I see no teenagers. In fact, I see the nanny and that's kind of it. There's no one for Connor to test out his flirtiness on. <gasps> Ali's spirit is fading away. Ali's connection to the physical world is growing weaker with each... Passing day, oh lest he be completely forgotten. Friends and family should visit his resting place and attempt to strengthen his connection to the physical world. They may also evoke his spirit and interact with him on a more personal level. I think Claire is going to be having the same thing as well. But I, I want them to pass away. I want their phys their spirit to pass away to the, to the planes beyond our life. I don't know. I do want him to. He just, they deserve to move on and not just be tied to earth forever. Oh my gosh, that's why I couldn't find Christian, you guys. He's aged up into a teen all on his own. Okay, I'm gonna invite Christian to come out to you. And I swear they had another little girly whirly friend. I'm gonna invite this Sophia back as well. Even though I feel like she should be a young adult by now. But there just needs to be a few more teenagers here, you know? Oh my gosh, so this is Christian now. And this is the other girly whirly. I may go ahead, you know, and just quickly change their appearance a little bit. I like, I like almost, like, it looks silly if, like, Connor and Abel are there, like, all decked out with their custom hair and they're, like, looking like big old hype beasts. And then everybody else is just kind of looking weird. I'm not going to spend loads of time, but I'm just going to flush through and make them look a little bit cooler, you know? Okay, it looks a bit more normal now. He's actually a frenzied ah. rebel. Oh my gosh, and he's a geek. <laughs> That's a bit of a mix. And then I'm gonna have to change hair as well because those eyebrows are like, oh my god, they were just killing me. <laughs> She's got such weird eyes, this girl. I'm not doing anything else to her other than that. I just wanted to make her look a little bit more human. <laughs> I can't help townies without like doing, tweaking them a little bit, putting some CC on them. It's a sickness, I know. Okay, so they've got their little teen squad together. And I think oh, Connor's kind of one of gonna start laying it on a little bit thick with this one, especially because she's gonna be an adult soon. <laughs> and he's definitely had a good little chance to catch up with little Abel. Oh my gosh, Connor! Connor, what, <laughs> what happened to your little feeties? He's definitely had a, yeah, a good little chance to catch up with little Abelene. 
And Abel is in such a happier mood. I'm so glad he's made him happy again. But now it's just these guys out here together. And then he could be having his first kiss pretty soon. She's a member of the Paragons as well, which are like the goody two-shoes like girl club. <gasps> Connor, stop doing that. It's so weird. <gasps> Look at him go. Look at him go. Connor, our first ever player sim. What does he want to do? He wants to ask somebody to go steady, which is definitely not being... Uh, being a little player? Oh my gosh, try for a baby in a bush. <laughs> the temptation to click it is high. It is literally so high. Oh my gosh, you guys. His charms are working on this one. Even if she does have... She's pretty, but she's got a bit of a weird face. Her eyes are like... Really extreme eyes, you guys. This is doing wonders for his charisma and stuff, though. <gasps> Connor, I thought I changed your eyes. That's so weird. His eyes have like gone back to normal again. I think maybe I didn't apply them to every outfit. Oh, he wants to flirt with her now. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys. I think he's going to about to have his first kiss. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Connor spent no time messing around. Teenager for one episode. He aged up last episode. This is his first time being out in a teen. And he's already having his first dates, you guys. Look, I'm like, I'm like watching them from across the courtyard. <gasps> Stop going through the ground, Connor. Why is he doing <laughs> He walks normal, then he walks like a toddler for a second. What are you actually even doing? This is hilarious. Why are you walking like that? Look at this. <laughs> He's like drowning his way through the coffee shop. Connor, what on earth? These arms are like little T-Rex arms. Connor, where are you even going, friendo? I'm going to follow you just because this walk is actually... Di I'm dying. Like, look at his ankles. I can see the inside of his like little sim body when he's doing that. What on earth? Connor, why are you drowning in the street? Oh, oh, you're off now. Suddenly you can walk again just fine. It was just here. Maybe that maybe they'd only just laid the cement so it was like a little bit sinky. And that's why he kept sinking. Connor, where are you gone? Where are you gone, Connor? Where on earth are you going? I didn't even realise I could like walk around the town as much as this. I thought you were like tied to one lot. But I think I can go anywhere. This this reminds me it's very like a I don't know, like Parisian, but then it's not. I just say that because it's got a river. It's more like Norwegian-y or like, uh, like Swedish. It's got Nordic-y kind of vibes. It's really cute. It's such a nice neighborhood. I can't believe I've never like paid any attention before. But I was r Break out the candles, make it romantic. Connor is about to woo-woo for the first time. Oh, <laughs> He's found a bush. A bush in the middle of, please say. Woo-hoo, oh my God. Imagine if he tried for a baby on his first time. We do have risky woo-woos, but it's 3%. However, saying that, I've had really bad luck with it so far. And by bad luck, I mean successful woo-woos that we're not meant to be successful. We're going to have to keep an eye on her and make sure that she doesn't just turn it around to her house like Dia did. Actually pregnant. Oh my gosh, you guys. Connor's a badden. Connor is literally a badden. Look at his face. Look at his face. Where's your cousin Abel? I thought you were coming out to have coffee with him and make him feel good. Not go into a bush and make yourself feel good. What the hell, Connor? I swear she's taller than him as well. I don't get why she's not a young adult. Oh, what is going on here? <gasps> what the hell? <laughs> why are they just going to a fight with each other? What the hell? Why are they fighting? Actually, why are they fighting with each other? What? Why did she just come over and beat her up? I think you should introduce yourself to this new girl. She's a young adult. Why did she just beat her up? What on earth? This is like, I don't know, I feel like I'm watching Hollyoaks or something. Oh my gosh, I literally thought they were off into the bush then. I, I thought he'd introduce himself to her and then they were going straight into the bush. She's dazed because she's been beaten up. Oh my gosh. I'm scared that he's going to start flirting with her. I'm going to leave him and just see what he does because ever since installing MCC, the most entertainment I get from this game is just leaving them to it. Just letting them do their own thing because they are actually hilarious. She's blowing kisses at him. She's in a proper flirty little mood. She's She hates her. I don't know why she hates her. I don't know why Connor's out at 2.17am on a school night. Oh my gosh, is he actually? 
Is he? Is he a... <laughs> no, she's in a flirty mood. Connor! Why is he so good at this? And she's still talking about this girl. And now Connor's pretending he doesn't like her! Connor! Oh my gosh! How have we raised such a brat? He is literally a little brat. I like how he waited for her to go as well before he started saying nasty stuff about her. Although apparently he's talk he wants to talk to her again. I don't know where she's gone, Connor. I'm thinking she's probably gone home. Oh, oh my god. What are they like? And she there he goes again, like trashing the girl i know he's like yeah i don't even like you either he hates everyone <laughs> goodbye connor go home get your butt home right oh my god she's back she's literally come back again with a slice of cake and now he's doing his homework pretending he's a good little good little boy he's meant to, to be to get his like serial romantic thing he's meant to have a boyfriend or girlfriend so i think maybe he just asks her to be his girlfriend just so that he can start to get some of this serial romantic stuff done i'm just i'm just guessing just, just a little guessy it's a little, little teeny tiny guess i don't think he's gonna be a great boyfriend just put it out there i don't think you'd want connor as your boyfriend you guys i definitely don't think you'd want him as your boyfriend so you should have achieved this now yeah so for you just became the girlfriend of connor so he's got his have a boyfriend or girlfriend thing but oh my gosh he's just suddenly got some self-awareness as well look how much stuff he's got going on oh my gosh oh my gosh get your butt home connor get your butt home right now you absolute little wreck. <laughs> oh my gosh, I get home and James is in Connor's room doing a little workout for himself. The face of a faithful nice man, unlike his son, who is not a nice man at all. We still love him to bits though. He's still our little Connor Rooney. He wants to woohoo with Sophia again. Oh my gosh. And now he's got a romantic interest in candy as well. Ooh. It was out all night gallivanting. And now he's doing his homework quickly before he heads into school. Bag, Connor, bag. Connor, what are you What's like? I wonder if James is like helping him out with his homework there. Yeah, I nope. think he is. James is helping him out with his homework. I'm probably giving him some advice of, you know, stop being such an old douchebag. <laughs> oh my gosh, Erica texted him. I heard you and Sophia started, Sophia started dating. Congratulations on landing a new girlfriend. Is she actually happy though? Is she actually happy at all? So while Connor's at school making some more friends, these guys are actually hanging out in their cool new sauna. Even though now it's gone normal for him, I'm so sad, but still. It's a still a properly sick little sauna. I would love to have I love like saunas and steam rooms so much Because I'm always cold and they're so warm that I absolutely love it And these guys are having a nice little chance to hang out in there And in fact, I think they should recreate what Claire and Ali did and do some sort of woos The dog's like, yeah, when am I gonna get some attention? <laughs> Can someone give me some attention, please? Oh <gasps> Bruno, don't be going in there now Bruno took one step in and he's like yeah, nah, not for me. <laughs> not for me. Why don't, Salma, why don't you go for a little, uh, go for a jog with Bruno, okay? <gasps> you have 24 hours to pay bills before your power. Oh my gosh, look at these two in their little sauna. I love them so much. James, while, sh while Salma's taking little, um, dogging out for a walk, why don't you go ahead and pay the bills? Oh my gosh, Eric has just texted me about his new girlfriend again. I think someone's feeling a, a little bit salty. Oh my gosh, and Connor. A plus project from school event. Great grade without having to do any of the work. Sounds great for me. However, now he is having a mood swing. And he is literally enraged. Connor, what on earth are you even doing? Why are you such a brat? Why? Oh, I think he's off to go punch his teddy bear as well. Connor! What on earth? Just went and punched him in the face. And now he's crying. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look who's walking outside. Oh, it's Candy. I wonder if she's actually going to call at the house. I've seen her walk by a few times, you know. And actually, Jesse knows her because they're both in the Spin Masters Club together. Oh, he could throw his drink at her. I've seen this girl around loads as well. Like, the same townies seem to be showing up all the time. I've definitely seen her around a few times with her little plait in her hair. Candy's gonna walk by. Do you want to go say hey to her, Connor? You're gonna have to catch her quickly. Oh my gosh, you're never gonna catch her walking like that. What are you even doing? Con Connor, 
don't walk like that. Now he started jogging. He suddenly realized no one's going to wait for me to walk like that. And there's Selma coming back with Bruno. Bruno. And I want to see if they just... Downstairs I just like watching them. I just find them entertaining just to watch. <gasps> Selma's reached level six and she can show off her muscles now. I'm going to leave him and his rage here and go to somebody nicer. Like little Selma Rooney and little Bruno. Can we change Bruno out of his... Uh, out of his clothes now and put him into some just regular old clothes. Oh, change outfit. Oh, he's still got his, he's still got his antlers on. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to change them at some point. And look at these two little cutie pies. I kind of feel like Selma's the one that actually ends up spending the most time hanging out with Bruno. Whether it's because they go like jogging together or she's always giving him little loves and stuff on the couch. Look at Selma. Like, she's just so gorgeous. Oh my god, this woman is in our house. This woman is literally in our house. Candy? What are you doing? <gasps> Sophia's calling you. She wants to go on a date to the rattlesnake juice bar. But he's really angry. He's gonna be like the worst date partner in the world. Oh gosh. <laughs> this is great though, because he needed to go on two dates. So does this count as a date? I don't even know. I just need to get him out of this. Oh look, he's not, he's only gonna be enraged for another five minutes. <gasps> Perfect. Now he's back to just being flirty again. That's much better. She's very sad though. And we know that this bar <laughs> is the bar of opportunity. Or it has been for Max and Jamie Street. It's alien night tonight. Part patrons from other worldly locals can enjoy drinks at a discounted price. Does that mean we're going to see an alien? I've never seen an alien in The Sims so far. Although Elsa did get abducted by aliens, if you guys remember. Oh, wow. She's pretty happy with the date. She said this date just keeps getting better. <gasps> oh, who's she? Who's she just walking in? Oh, she's pretty. She is super pretty. Oh, my gosh. Look as well. It's Zach. I don't think Zach and Connor even know each other. And now he's too far away to find out. No and then we've got Sasha Crook as well. Young adults. Oh my God. It's so nice to be with someone I can talk to for hours. You look like you're having a good time, Connor. I mean, she's loving the date, you guys. Just saying that. She's loving the date. Although I'm kind of intrigued by this very beautiful lady here. And I'm also itching to know if any of the people here are actually aliens or not. I think she's somehow got CC skin on. She doesn't have eyelashes. It will randomly generate it for some of them. And I, I feel like she's got it. She's got a lot of detail around the, the around her cheeks and her face. Oh, look, there's Connor at the end. Chit-chatting away with her. Look at him looking at her like, how you doing? How you doing? Oh my gosh, he also wants to woohoo with candy. Look, it's one of his whims is to woohoo with candy. Wow. And he's charisma level five. And he's learned that Anvi is single. Like, literally, he can talk the talk. He can back it up with actual good charisma, too. And his girlfriend is not looking too happy about all of this. Oh, no, she is. She's looking happy again. And she's looking a bit, a little bit crazy. A little bit crazy, you guys. You're meant to be sat chatting with her. Not blowing kisses to her. Connor. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What are they even like? He look is that meant to be your like attractive face connor it's not very attractive girlfriend's mad girlfriend is mad oh no now he's just gone to go and kiss her connor <laughs> i can't keep up with him i can't keep up with him he is all over the place when it comes to girls <gasps> oh my gosh surely she's an alien surely she's an alien look at her eyes look at her tiny nose oh <gasps> Oh, do you hear her voice? Oh my gosh, she's an alien. Come and say hello to her. We've never met an alien before. I'm so intrigued. And I thought she was going to be an alien. Just because she's got kind of interesting looking eyes. But I actually don't think she's an alien. However, her, she's dressed really weirdly as well. I think she's an alien, you guys. Connor's like, hello, alien. I am a human male. Zuzu. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Don't call me ever. <gasps> oh my gosh. She stormed out because he was trying to flirt with an alien who he has learned is single. There's no alien male in the, sus in the picture. Sophia is off. I actually think she just disappeared. Wow. <laughs> and Connor is flirting with an alien. <gasps> I can hear another alien. Oh my gosh. It's him, isn't it? He's an alien too. <gasps> the f oh my god! 
Oh my god, Connor is actually hilarious. It's Connor hilarious. is actually hilarious. They keep their thin noses, don't they? You'd think it would be a better disguise to like have a normal size nose. Because she's got a thin nose as well. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Connor. <laughs> it's he's terrible. He's actually terrible. He's come from like the most privileged most well-adjusted background of any sim we've ever had. Like literally, Selma and James were loaded when they had him. Had already moved into like the li amazing house that they've got with a sauna and a pool and a basketball net and everything. And yet, yeah, look at him. He's the biggest brat we've ever had. Oh my gosh, oh my god. Oh my gosh, is this another alien? <gasps> she is definitely an alien, look at her. She's even she's not even pretending she's not an alien. Wow. Aliens everywhere. And apparently the aliens really like that hair that I downloaded. Oh my gosh. She's cute. She's a cute little alien, to be fair. She is a cute little alien. But she definitely looks like an alien. And this looks like her twin here, I swear. Oh, she's got creepy eyes. <gasps> Look at her eyes. They've got those creepy lines in them. Careful she doesn't abduct you, Connor, okay? Oh, she's taking a picture to show all her alien friends. Look at this little teenager I hooked up with on Earth. Oh. Alicia just became the girlfriend of Connor. What the hell? Connor has discovered that Alicia Black is an alien. The disguise seemed perfect apart from one rather alien detail. What does that even mean? How can I see like her alien side? Did she? Sh she must have shown her alien what she actually looks like. But how do I see what it is? Oh my gosh, there's another alien. They've all got the same hair. He's got an alien girlfriend now. He's literally got an alien girlfriend. And I think she must have shown herself off as an alien. But I was too busy looking at the other alien's eye. Where's my alien girlfriend gone? She's gone. She's gone home. Oh my god. Connor, go home. Go home, you absolute little rat. So Sophia... <laughs> Sophia is technically still his girlfriend. And also, he knows that Alicia is an alien. And she's his girlfriend too. I want to go and like visit her. <laughs> but I don't know how I'm supposed to go and visit her. Oh my gosh. I never saw her alien form, you guys. Connor, get your butt home right now, young man. You are grounded. You're grounded on earth, okay? And then I get home and the dog's pooping on the floor. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, there you go, you guys. That is how your sim is if he has the uh, serial romantic aspiration, but also if he has the relentless tease and romantic combined. All three of his things are for ultimate romance. And ultimate romance is exactly what he did. He currently has two girlfriends. None of them are Erica. James is for some reason sleeping in Charlie Rose's bed, which I can't really understand. But luckily, James and Salma's romance is still absolutely solid. James has gone out on a date with Sophia, found an alien that took his eye. Somehow she revealed to him that she was an alien. They don't even know each other that well, but their girlfriend and boyfriend, he asked her to be his girlfriend. And he also wants to woo-woo with Candy, so... There you go, you guys. That is the life of Connor in one day. The only redeeming thing is he knew his friend Abel was down and he took him out to try and make him feel better. But other than that, Connor's kind of cheeky. In fact, he's very cheeky and kind of bratish. What do you guys think of Connor's behavior? Should we try and straighten him out? Or should we leave him on this path while he's a teenager and hope, just hope, that before he becomes an adult, he can try and figure things out? Let me know what you think in the comments below and let me know what you think about this alien girlfriend thing. And also, if there's a way I can ask my alien girlfriend to reveal her alien nature, please let me know in the comments below as well because I'm itching to know what she actually looks like when she's an alien because we might be a little bit scared of her. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of In The Suburbs and I'll see you guys in another one. Thank you so much for watching.